Urinary tract infections can be more than just painful. It can actually kill you. Dr. Samadhi, what do women in particular need to know about these? Well, women are more common in getting urinary tract infection because the urethra is much shorter. And the biggest bug that we have is E. coli that gets into the bladder. Now, once it gets to the wall of the bladder, they have these leggings or fimbria. Once they get stuck, now they have a home, and it would be so difficult to get rid of them. If you have no symptoms, and, and you get UTI, you don't need any treatment. If you're symptomatic, which Mark will talk about it, then you get treated with antibiotics. Young women that we see in the practice, and we call them sometimes honeymoon cystitis after sexual activity, they get more of these infections. The best thing is to empty your bladder immediately after any kind of sexual activity. Now, when the UTI or urinary tract infection won't get treated, it can find its, its way all the way up to the kidneys. And at that point, we call them pyelonephritis or a kidney infection. The next phase of this, is the infection can get into the blood and as you called it urosepsis which is really a deadly uh, infection and that in fact is the second most common cause of infection after respiratory so you wow. want to make sure that you treat it and not ignore your symptoms at that point mark you need extra heavy duty antibiotics Absolutely. even intravenous antibiotics you cannot ignore this right and you got to go right to the emergency room and there's all kinds of studies how they handle it sometimes they try with a drug called Levaquin they can use intravenous antibiotics kidney stones predispose you this as you know diabetes can but you women know, get them a lot, a lot more than men do and David said the reason you know it's actually often related to sex you have to wash after or before sex you have to urinate after sex that's really important Drinking cranberry juice can help, parsley can help, celery can help, watermelon can help, but the number one thing you can do is stay hydrated. Don't get dehydrated. Now, what are the symptoms you're going to have? Urinary frequency. You're going too often. It burns when you urinate, but you could actually have a urinary infection without it burning. But frequency, you're going to go more often. And sometimes you could be in the middle of getting one, and you can get rid of it by having that cranberry juice. We doctors look under the microscope for white blood cells, because when the body is fighting the infection, you make white blood cells. If we see it in the urine, in most cases. I asked you guys to do this topic because somebody that I knew had gotten one, ended up in the hospital, and ended up on a ventilator because... Wow of the sepsis. Yes, so eurosepsis so is very serious and a lot of elderly women die from this. Mm -hmm. So you gotta take it seriously and I think paying attention to some of the symptoms, blood in the urine, frequency, pain while you have this is absolutely important. And, and actually cranberry tablets, remember this, mm. cranberry tablets are more effective than the actual drinking oh, itself. But water mm. and hydration, what we, we like a high traffic bladder, a, tra a bladder that has a lot of fluid going uh -huh. through. The color of the urine should be white. All Remember right. that. That's the word of the day, a high traffic bladder. You like that? Great advice. <laughs>